Hi guys, great to be here with you today. This is the last video in our series of big questions. We've looked at, I don't believe the Bible, I don't believe in God, the record of the church, suffering in the world, managing without God, and all religions lead to God. And now today with the last one, this is about I've always done my best. Talking about that if you try and do your best, then that will be good enough for God. First of all, I'm sure there have been times when we've not all tried our best. And actually, we could be a little bit disappointed in ourselves because we didn't. Sometimes we choose to go our own way rather than doing what we know God would want us to do. And sometimes we might start to think about other people and see what they do. There are loads of people out there that are a lot worse than we are. And you could think that as long as you're not as bad as them, then that will work in your favour. But God doesn't judge us based on what other people have done. It doesn't have us in a league with others and we move up or down depending on how good we've been or how bad others have been. God measures us against Jesus and unfortunately for us, no one can measure up to Jesus to his perfect standards. We all fall short of Jesus. God doesn't just judge our actions but our thoughts as well. In the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5 it tells us that if we think something, it's basically as if we've done it. It's not only our actions are important to God but our thoughts as well. The second greatest commandment is to love your neighbour as yourself. But the first is to love your Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and all your strength. What it doesn't say is to be as good as a person as you can be. God is showing us what is, in, what is most important to him and that is that we love him with everything and to love others as well. People might also think that God has all our actions and thoughts marked out on a piece of paper. One, good, one page for good and one page for bad. And as long as the good page is longer than the bad page, then we'll be in God's good books and we'll be okay and God will let us into heaven. But the Bible tells us that no amount of good will cancel out the amount of bad we do. We can never make it up. Just like with other people as well, just because, uh, just because we might do two good things, it doesn't cancel out the one bad thing we did. There's only one way to cancel out the bad things we do, and that is to turn to Jesus, asking him for forgiveness. It's not about just being a good person, but the Bible says that is how you get, but the Bible says that is not how you get into heaven. The Bible says in John 3.16 and in John 14.6 that the only way to heaven is through Jesus and not by being a good person. So to say that I've always done my best uh, is not quite enough. We need to love God with everything we have and to love others as well. To ask God for forgiveness and to start living the way he wants us to. I hope that this series of big questions has been helpful for you. When it comes to God, Jesus and the Bible, it's always good to keep questioning. And there's a great way to keep learning and understanding it all more and more. And I hope that you've been encouraged to do that. See you next time.